Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. This is your first time here. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Every Monday, I do a What Sold video. Today, I'm going to show you close to $1,200 going out on eBay, as well as $150 going out on Facebook. I'm also going to tell you about a $2,600 order that I had to cancel no fault of my own and kind of review with you what went wrong there and yeah so we're negative overall for the weekend but it happens it's part of business I am going to keep on pushing forward and we will figure it out so let's take a look at what sold So up first is actually a longa burger basket. This little basket here is a tree trimming basket by Melody. It did have, I think it has a little tie on in here. I, I have not tied it on. It does. It has a little tree trimming tie on. It has the liner. It has the protector. Again, you use combo for the longa burger baskets that you have all of the little things that go with it. This one I paid $8. It sold for a best offer of $30. Plus the buyer paid $11.75 in shipping, making this one about a $18 profit. And, and there are going to be a lot that are really long tail in here. And I will tell you that sending offers the way I've been doing, which is sending 10% if it's listed in the last two months, 15% from two to six months, 20% from six months to a year and if it has been listed over a year I send 30% off. I've been moving a lot of stale inventory that way and I'm really really happy with the results. So this is a Tuzagoot. This is a little brochure. I've had it well over a year. I paid less than 50 cents and it sold for $3.86 plus the buyer paid five in shipping making it about a three dollar profit. Up next is a vintage hat. This is Gillies Pasadena, Texas. Vintage hat paid a dollar for this. It sold for $50 plus the buyer paid shipping. They are 55 all in and I am making about a $45 profit. This is a vintage. I just put Gullies Pasadena, Texas. So it was a vintage snapback. There were not many listed, but I was able to comp it. There were enough that I knew that it was worth money. So I always look at hats when I run into them. I haven't ran into any, I haven't gotten any new hats in quite a while, but that one was definitely a great pickup. Up next is this gorgeous little dragonfly trinket box. It has one matchstick in it. I bought this when I was up in Pennsylvania last year. I paid $3. It sold for $14.00. Plus the buyer paid $9.65 in shipping. This is going to be over a pound. And this one is going to be about a $9 profit. Now, they started at a $9 offer. I had it listed at $20. Okay. Finally settled on $14. All right, next. And if you know me, you know I don't do auctions. But you're going to see a few things that sold on auction. So I have been trying to put a few things up. I feel like if you're running auctions... That kind of drives more traffic to your store. This one, I started at $49.99. I got one bid. This is actually an Ambro type here, which means it's on glass. So there are different ones of these. The 10 types are on 10, Ambro types are on glass, and Daguerro types are like mirrors. And the Daguerro types are definitely worth the most. This one, again, $50, one bid. I did take a picture of that <laughs> showing that it fell out. I got this from George the Antique Nomad for $10. So I am going to make about a $38 profit. Up next is a Carolyn Pollock ring. If you do not know the name Carolyn Pollock, I would definitely learn it. This is from her Simply Southwest collection. They are marked. Let me see if I can find this to show you. So it says... CP right here where my finger is. It's super tiny. Probably aren't going to be able to see, but it is marked Carolyn Pollock CP. It does have 925, so it is sterling. It came in this little gift bag in this box, and this one I paid about $10 for. It sold for $41 plus the buyer paid shipping. So this one's going to be about a $27 profit. 
Six is another daguerreotype. This is another one that was, and this is not, this one is a 10 type. So this one here, and when you find these, A, the subject matters. So like for him, I wrote like goatee. I wrote tenid. If you can see, his cheeks have a little bit of pink there. I wrote handlebar mustache. Anything you can use to describe these is going to help collectors to find it. So this one also sold with just one bid for $49.99. Another one I got from George the Antique Nomad for $10. And it's about a $28 profit. Up next, and this has been here for a while. I don't know how because I think it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful like amberina colored glass. Really pretty like ruffle top vase. The bottom is not marked and this one sold for $15.44. This was one of my 30% offers. It has been here for a year. I paid $5, so it's gonna be about an $8 profit. So all of this stuff I'm not making much profit on, but I'm getting it out of here and I'm sourcing smarter now. So I am really happy to have it moving out. Plus I get money for inventory to rebuy better items. This has been here two years, two years. And it's crazy. Like, I never know, you, you really never know how long something's gonna be there. So this one is a copper and enamel brooch. It's gorgeous. It's actually signed on the back, Republic of Ireland. I don't know how it took so long to sell. There is your marking there. And this one sold for 16 plus shipping. I'm less than a dollar in, which is nice. And this one will be, about a $12 profit, but again, took well over two years to sell. So if you think it's all gonna sell fast, it, not always. Some people do very, very well at a really good sell-through rate and picking popular items. I like to pick stuff I like, and I'm okay with waiting for it there a little bit. Next is a Disney item, another Harmony Kingdom. This one is Jungle Book. Again, all of my Harmony Kingdoms, or little trinket boxes. This one has bananas. There is the bottom. This one was not a limited edition, so it didn't sell for $300 like the last one, but it did sell for $100. I paid $30. It sold for $93.87. I paid $30, so this is about a $50 profit, and it sold in under a month. Another brochure. Again, these have been here over two years. This one is Columbia Historic State Park, just a little like pamphlet on it. And this one sold for $7.36. Again, I'm about 50 cents in, so this one's about a $5 profit. The buyer did pay $5.50 in shipping. Next is this vintage little photo booth strip. So this one here sold to Amy over at Edge City Traders. So Amy, thank you so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate it. And she also bought one more item, which is a really cool one. This is some vintage crab earrings, and they are still on an original Coro tag. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it says Coro Craft. They are enamel. They're really, really cool. So Amy got the photo strip for $12, and then she got the crab earrings for $13.49. So Amy, thank you so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate it. Next is this Tassimo Creamer. So this one is just four little discs that are for some special coffee machine. I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $12.73. It did take about eight months, and that one's going to be about a $10 profit. All right, another auction item. So I picked this up for $30. I could have made more had I ordered a new battery for it and had I been willing to wait for the battery, test it, do all that. I decided to auction it just to get rid of it. I paid 30 at a garage sale just a few weeks ago and it sold for $99.99 plus the buyer paid $14.95 in shipping. So let me show you. I'm just going to show you the main part. This is a Dyson. So if you guys don't know, a Dyson is a definitely a high dollar brand. This one is a V10. Now the thing I want to point out to you guys is parts for these vacuums sell really high as well. So I could have parted out like each individual attachment. Again, I'm happy with a quick $55 profit sold on auction 
and only one bid again i started at 99.99 it probably would have sold around the 200 dollar range had i ordered a battery which would have cost me 30 to 50 dollars and then i would have had to wait a lot of time so i was happy to let this go and then let's go ahead and talk about that order that i had to cancel all right so if you know me you know i am super super positive don't like to dwell on the negative so one of the things with you ship which is what I was using to, to sell my $2,600 Yadro piece or to ship it is that with freight companies on you ship their dates aren't necessarily reliable so I knew that I knew that I've seen you know it changes by a couple of days but I've never had anything going from Florida to California so I paid $500 the owner of that you ship company told me he would be here before february 7th which is actually today and that he would deliver it to my customer in california by the 17th so what happened is the buyer actually messaged me and said hey what's going on have they picked it up are there any updates so i reached out to the freight company and his response to me was I'm currently in Texas. I still have to go to New Orleans, Chicago, and Atlanta before I come to you. This was three days ago. And so I let the buyer know, look, this is where the freight company is. This is what he says. The buyer messaged me back and said, I'm sorry you promised it by the 17th because what I had originally done was said, hey, the shipper said it'll be here by the 7th. You'll have it by the 17th. And I should have known better. I should have given myself a bigger window, probably a 30 day window, to be honest. And he said, if you can't guarantee it's here by the 17th, I want to cancel. So my fear at that point was the shipper gets here late. I let him take my $2,600 Yadro piece. It's in transit to California. And the buyer says, eh, I want to cancel. So I, I don't want that to happen. And I don't want to have that very valuable item out of my possession and then a possible cancellation. So I wrote the buyer, said, look, I have no control over the shipping company. I'm telling you what he told me. I don't know that I can guarantee it by the 17th. So if you would like to cancel, that is fine by me. And that's what he did. And, you know, as far as like the refund, so there were like three or four hundred dollars in eBay fees I had paid $500 to you ship, which I did get a refund on. So ultimately, like $800 was fees. I had to refund $1,800 out of my own pocket. Um, so it is what it is. It is what it is. But had I let that driver come pick it up, and then it's in transit to California, but gets there after the 17th, then the buyer says, I don't want it. I would then have to pay another $500 to get it back so i wouldn't get a refund on my 500 in shipping i would have to pay 500 to get it back and at that point i would be 1800 into an item which i did not want so as hard as it was i had to cancel i had to cancel that was really the only viable option as far as being smart for my business so when you do you ship freight these drivers are picking up all across the country they tell you what they think but probably eight times out of 10, they've been late for me. So just keep that in mind if you're using Uship. I would say give your buyer, tell them if it's hand delivered, it's gonna take up to 30 days. I think you would be safe with 30 days and that is what I should have done. All right, next is this cute little seahorse. I picked this up in Pennsylvania as well. So I've had it about six months. This little guy I paid $12 for and it sold for $50.39. So it's going to be about a $30 profit. And then two pairs of Kim Gravel jeans. These are size four. These sold for $13.90 for both pair. Had those over two years as well. And I am going to put those into a padded flat rate for the buyer and refund her difference in shipping so she paid 20 or 1930 in shipping so i'll give her a ten dollar discount what happened with that is typically with combining orders i tell my buyers buy the items don't pay let me invoice you with the multi-quantity listings for some reason ebay wouldn't let her order them without paying so therefore i have to issue her a refund after i ship them make sure if you're issuing a shipping refund don't do it until you ship because if you do it takes it off of your list of items that need to be shipped. 
Next is an incredible sale and it sold in two hours. This is a Culver glass. If you see glasses, anything like this, you definitely want to keep an eye out. I paid a dollar for this at the thrift store. They are not marked, but Google Lens is your friend. Google Lens is your friend. It's hard to see. Those are little green diamonds in the middle. This one sold for $34.99. Plus, the buyer paid 11 in shipping and again sold in two hours over a $30 profit. Next is one of the pillowcases I picked up at Goodwill. So, this one is a really, really nice thick fabric, really cool geometrical shape. Again, keywords are key here. I put green, pink, I put retro, I put indoor, outdoor. This one I paid $1.59, it sold for $20. Plus the buyer paid five in shipping, making this one about a $16 profit and it sold in about two months. Up next, and these are not super impressive. There are three <coughs> of them. I'm only gonna show you one. This is Mikasa and Talgo Garden Poetry. Another item I had over a year sent out an offer. So the three canisters sold for $25.72. Plus the buyer paid $22 in shipping. Ooh, do not forget, if you have not already, check out the Nurse Slipper Camp Retreat. I do just want to talk about it just for a minute because a couple of people had the misunderstanding that it was just like a get together and hang out. And that is not the case at all. So the Nurse Slipper Retreat, which is April 8th to 11th, I do have a few rooms still available, including lower cost bunk rooms if you're willing to share the room with one person. Right now, actually, there's nobody booked in them, so you might end up getting it by yourself. So what it is, is Friday night we'll check in. Saturday and Sunday will be eight hours of eBay and reselling classes. George the Antique Nomad will be one of my guest speakers helping us learn about antiques and vintage items, as well as Richard Ottnip Drop Flips will be there teaching us about retail arbitrage. So Saturday and Sunday will be all classes, hands-on, learning eBay from the beginning to the end, how to improve your sales, how to get better numbers, and maybe even get faster at listing, which I think increasing your productivity increases how much you make so we will be doing classes and then at night the house has a bowling alley it has video games it has a ping pong table it has like all kinds of cool stuff so during the day saturday and sunday are classes at night we can hang out there's a pool and a hot tub as well and then monday we will say our goodbye so two full days of intense classes all of your food is included plus classes if you were in a room there or if you have family in Orlando or you are close enough to drive, you can opt to do the classes only and just come during the day and do classes. And Or if you want to get your own hotel room, you can do that as well. So definitely check out the nurseflipper.bigcartel.com and that'll show you which rooms are still available. All right, next are two vintage Fire King Anchor Hawking Peach Luster One Quart loaf pans they sold for $12.87 another item that was here for a year I am really happy to be moving these items out that have been here forever these I'm only a couple dollars in so it's actually about a nine dollar profit and I am happy to see them go next some Ken Edwards Tanala so this buyer wanted ones with primarily blue so I did pick her out for these are saucers the four sold for $30 plus the buyer paid shipping so with the Ken Edwards Tanala I am down to saucers and tumblers and that is it all of the dinner plates all of the bowls everything else has sold out it and there are a few serving pieces left as well but that was a great buy definitely keep your eye out for ken edwards tanala here is the signature again to look out for it does say ke and yeah they sold really fast next another thing i've had over a year getting all this stuff out this one is a 1977 brunswick children's classic sold for 2.95 i paid less than 10 cents this is about a two dollar profit this one's been here like two and a half years. This is a little generic ink. This one sold for $3.67. Whatever. I get some money back. I can source better items. I get it out of my inventory shed. I have more room. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. You live, you learn, you get better at sourcing, and it's just what happens. So $3 profit on this one. Up next are some Golden Harvest Anchor Hawking Christmas glasses. These were probably a bad buy. Not probably, they were a bad buy. Um, 
picked these up for three dollars at the thrift store they only sold for eight these are like a four dollar profit and i saw anchor hawking i saw christmas got super excited and i was wrong so i a lot of times will pick up on my instinct and overall i really do well but i want you guys to know i definitely make sourcing mistakes and it's okay again got my money back plus a little bit i can get better items and i'm good with that this one is another one just like that. So this mistake is like full of my, or this video, see, that was kind of ironic. This video is full of mistakes that I've made. And I want you guys to know you're going to make mistakes while reselling. You take it, you move on, you keep pushing and you do better. So this one I paid $5 for again on instincts, no signal in the thrift store. This one is guaranteed 22 karat gold. USA and this one sold for $11 so it's only about a four dollar profit. Next is this little Annalie bunny. So I don't think most Annalie are cute at least not the people but this bunny is like super super cute. I got him for four or him her for four dollars. She sold for 15. She's going to be about a nine dollar profit. And then this little cross has also been here over a year sold for five dollars buyer paid 14 in shipping this one is going international and i paid less than a dollar it'll be about a three dollar and fifty cent profit all right that is all that sold on ebay but now i'm going to show you what sold on facebook so facebook marketplace has started picking up for us we are back on poshmark poshmark but we have not had any sales yet mom is actually inside cross posting to poshmark so let me show you what sold on Facebook and hopefully we'll have some Poshmark sales soon. This giant cardinal sign, <laughs> this cardinal sign, it's like an unfinished clock sold for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. I got this on auction for $5. So this over a $50 profit. The nice thing about Facebook Marketplace is the fees are only 5%. So if you're not cross posting yet, that's definitely a way to get more sales. I use List Perfectly to cross post all of my items. I do have a couple of videos. So if you search for Nurse Flipper List Perfectly, you will find two tutorials on how I use List Perfectly. And if you want to try it yourself, I do have a code, the Nurse Flipper, all one word, no spaces for 30% off if you would like to try it. This soccer stuff, this soccer stuff here sold for twenty dollars i picked it up for five dollars at goodwill in this bin so a nice little thirteen dollar profit king kong sign paid less than a dollar sold for seventeen dollars on facebook marketplace and then this little crab necklace sold on facebook marketplace for fourteen dollars i paid two dollars for all of my crab stuff this one's going to be about an eleven dollar profit next is probably my favorite item going out today this is a really cool ducks cruel it is behind glass and this one sold for 41 dollars over on facebook marketplace now i have done very very well with art on facebook so i'm really happy with that so that's over 150 dollars on facebook i did miss a 40 dollar sale to show you on ebay i saw it sitting here i'm like i didn't show them that so let me show you this is a really cool cat cloisonne box see the kitty cats this one is marked so it was able to be looked up there is the marking and this one is from 1995 it's trade aid and it's in its little original gift box here and i paid about five dollars i got a lot of cat cloisonne trinket boxes i have four more if you like that one um not the same they're all different designs so that one's going to be about a 32 dollar profit all right so i'm going to get out of here i have my members only ebay store reviews immediately following this video if you are not aware i do ebay store reviews i can also do poshmark closet mercari whatever whatever you sell on i can look at your platform see if i can help you out with selling more items we do it live first Monday of every month 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you haven't joined click the join button below any video on the computer some phones show it and it will tell you about our membership packages available so I look forward to seeing my members and then tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I will be joined by my co-host Julian Bearded Thrift as well as Amber Resells and Drew Tip of the Mint Flips 
neither of them have ever been on so it will be a great fun night and then wednesday because i'm not gonna have another pre-record before this happens wednesday night at 6 p.m eastern standard time i will be having my live sale with yvonne thrifty rich i'm gonna have some really really cool items some vintage stuff some collectibles yvonne has got a ton of good stuff too so we both look forward to seeing you on yvonne's channel wednesday at 6 p.m eastern standard time I hope you guys had a great day. I will see all my members in a few minutes. Happy sales and happy Monday, guys.